Dwyer, welcome to Steiner Sports. Hey, good to be here, Stephen. So great to meet you, and uh, we met a while back in San Francisco, and <laughs> yeah. uh, talked about you were there actually signing your book, and I think I was one of the first people that the first thing I didn't ask you was how is Kevin Costner to work with. <laughs> that's true. That that's a credit to you. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, okay, I could ask you now though. <laughs> What's Kevin like? Uh, yeah. yeah. He, well, he was fantastic on the movie. I mean, and just a really nice guy. I mean, just the way you'd imagine him to be. He has an incredible smile, and uh, he sort of makes you feel, one of those people that makes you feel like you're the only person in the room when he's talking to you. And uh, and since then, he's been great about uh, you know I, I have things signed for charity, and, and he'll sign them for me. He's you know he's a great guy. That's great. Well, I I did read the book, and I have to say, just one of my favorite books. It really is, and for many many reasons. You kind of went through your life and the growing up that everyone does, and um, I think you had the ability to just take that field of dreams experience and just maybe for the people at Steiner and the fans, uh, what was that whole thing like kind of in a, in a short version of, you know, I know the trying out and wondering if you get the part. A lot of that is detailed in the right. book. Um, well, it, it was just a fantastic experience from beginning to end. I mean, I had read the book, She Was Joe, that it came from, and, and I grew up on a farm in Ohio, so it, it felt like being home when we were shooting it. Of course, James Earl Jones and Burt Lancaster and Kevin Costner and, I mean, you know, it, it was, you know, Ray Liotta. It was amazing just being there in the farm in the middle of nowhere. So everybody was just hanging out. There was nothing else to do. Uh, I mean, we started a bowling team in, in Dyersville, Iowa because we were so bored, you know. But uh, anyway, it, it was just fantastic. We played catch all day between takes. Kevin would, you know, hit the ball out into the corn and, you know, and, and we'd all take turns at it. And, you know, it, it was really just just a wonderful experience. I mean. No, but none of us knew, I think, at the time that it was going to be this classic movie that would resonate for so long with so many people. But for us, it was just a lot of fun and a really, really good script. Well, I think early on, some people even killed the movie, right? They said the oh. Rolling Stone interview and people just never, right. you know, cornfield well, and all this. Universal had so little faith in it, they were going to release it straight to video. But it was uh, Steven Spielberg who had snuck into a screening who convinced uh, Lou Wasserman to, to give it a, a theatrical release. and. Uh, and what's amazing is they only released it to very few theaters, but the word of mouth spread and people were so knocked out by it that they just kept, oh, you got to go see this movie. And they said, I'm not going to tell you anything about it because they didn't want to spoil anything. And uh, it just had a life of its own. They kept opening wider and wider. Now, one of the things that we deal with a lot at Steiner is after the athlete's career is over and after they're done playing, you know, whether it be Mariano Rivera or Derek, there's just such a still a need for the autograph and people just have all of those memories and those memories are just etched in and years after the career's over there still people are collecting you know the autographs and Steiner Sports you know just has had you know 25 years of connecting our customers to those moments and now Feel the Dreams is now going to be you know one of these Steiner Sports you know moments that we're going out there with and you know I saw you going through and seeing these pictures and the book and you know the cornfield how does it feel now? The movie was 20 years ago, and you're sitting here now, you know, signing a couple hundred items for us. Well, I, I mean, it's just been fantastic. You know, I've been uh, around with the book to a lot of uh, sports shows and baseball fields. I got to throw out a pitch at Fenway and, and a bunch of things. Uh, and, and it's amazing to me just how people are still very emotional. They'll come up to me to ask me a question about the book or... And, and you can see that the emotion is right there, you know. They'll tell me, you know, that their father died 10 years ago or just died last year and, and you know, the book has meant so much to them. And, and, and so it, it really is kind of amazing. I, I take it very seriously because people's uh, connection to that movie is, is very dear to them, you know, and, and, and it's something that, um, you know, I feel like it's sort of my mission to, uh, sure. you know, to be there for them, you know. Okay, and if you notice, there is a part in the book where um, actually a tapestry of stories throughout the book of people you've run into in different areas where they just come up to you and they feel that connection and they have to tell you where you either reconnected them with their father or they looked at it differently and that's really a powerful portion of the book and I have to say unsolicited today we were just sitting here and we were going through the signing and we had one of our own employees you know literally walk up and just you know talk about it and you know and it just happened right here like five minutes ago yeah. so it, it I always mean, takes me by surprise and 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 like I said the people get very, you know, I mean, it's it's dear to them. They're talking about their fathers or, or their sons, and, and, you know, you can't get more more intense than that, and, and it's it's been just a great gift. I feel like a priest who gets to wander around and hear, 
hear these confessions, and uh, there's just a sample of them in the book because they're so so profound. You know. Absolutely. Well, we are so glad you know to have this product line, and we're signing it just really a couple weeks before Father's Day, <laughs> and I just have to tell anyone who's actually watching this that. I could not put the book down. I really couldn't. I was out. We had met in San Fran, and I started reading in the car, and then I took it to the plane and, you know, finished it a couple of days later, and it really just gives that feeling of, you know, and I guess we could say then you're like a little bit of a struggling actor or a little... Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I, 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 I sort of think of myself as a blue-collar actor. I, <laughs> I just, you know, it's what I do, you know. I, I just, you know, I don't get those big jobs, but I just keep working, you know, so... Uh, and. A couple of weeks ago, I guess they did, we didn't want to call it a rerun or another showing, a couple of weeks ago that was seen across the country and uh, I didn't even know it was on but I happened to catch it and I really, knowing you, it just made that moment like so much more powerful, you know, for me, well, you, you know, and just seeing that and I don't know what you're doing but you look like the same, almost <laughs> the same. Uh, I tell everybody you, it's from living in the cornfield. All yeah, the yeah. <laughs> you, you definitely look today like um, you walked out of the cornfield so I think uh, we're going to have a little bit of a catch. We're going to finish signing. And Steiner Sports is just so, so humbled and proud to kind of have you on our, uh, on our team and have your items to sell. Well, thank you, Stephen. Thank you so much.